A basic vocal chain might consist of EQ, compression, maybe some form of saturation, and then some limiting for that final bit of added control. Now while there's nothing wrong with this setup in theory, the problem you can easily run into, especially if you're dealing with a track from an inexperienced vocalist, is that the dynamic range can vary massively from line to line, or even word to word. And running this through a compressor may not give you back that controlled sound you're looking for, because it's having to react to such drastic fluctuations in level. This is what really hinders the ability of a compressor to do its job properly. So the best way around this is to use what's commonly referred to as clip gain, to prepare our vocal track in a much more consistent manner, so that when we do feed it through a compressor, it's reacting to a more uniform signal. This stops the compressor from overreacting to the incoming signal, and actually allows you to push things harder without the fear of overcompressing it. A good way of demonstrating this is by listening to these two vocal tracks. They're both using the exact same compression settings as you can see here, but vocal 1 has been compressed without using the clip gain method, and vocal 2 has been compressed using the clip gain method. I'll play these two for you first, and then discuss what's happening. Burn my throat and race my heart I didn't know that this would start cause I Burn my throat and race my heart I didn't know that this would start cause I So as you probably just heard, some of the words in vocal 1 still jump out quite a bit, even after the compression. And you can audibly hear the compressor working harder during those moments to try and tame the louder peaks of the vocal signal. Whereas in vocal 2, the whole take sounds smoother and the compression is a lot more transparent in sound. It sounds controlled but not compressed, if you know what I mean. And that's really the main benefit of this technique. You're setting your compressor up for a much easier task, which in turn gives you back a much more consistent result. Burn my throat and race my heart I didn't know that this would start cause I Burn my throat and race my heart I didn't know that this would start cause I As a producer and engineer who's tried countless options to improve my mixes, the Sage Audio membership is the only platform that actually delivers results and it's an incredible experience. The membership includes unlimited mixing feedback, direct one-on-one -on -one mentorship, in-depth mixing and mastering courses, 53 mastered songs per year, and a lot more. Every day I see huge wins from members noticing a massive improvement in their mixers after joining. Use a link in the description to see if the Sage Audio membership is right for you.